television. The device we call the television is really a television receiver that is the end point of a broadcast system that starts with the television camera or transmitter and requires a complicated network of broadcast transmitters using ground-based towers, cables and satellites to deliver the original picture to our living rooms. In 1928, Philo Farmsworth made the world's first working television system. The basic idea of television is radio with pictures. Television is really a three-part invention. The TV camera that turns a picture and sound into a signal, the TV transmitter that sends the signal through the air, and the TV receiver that captures the signal and turns it back into picture and sound. TV creates moving pictures by repeatedly capturing still pictures and presenting these frames to your eyes so quickly that they seem to be moving. Almost all TVs in use today rely on a device known as the cathode ray tube or CRT to display their images. An antenna on your roof picks up radio waves from the transmitter. With satellite TV, the signals come from a satellite dish mounted on your wall or roof. With cable TV, the signal comes to you via an underground cable. The incoming signal feeds into the antenna socket on the back of the TV. The incoming signal is carrying the picture and sound for more than one station. A circuit inside the TV selects only the station you want to watch and splits the signal for this station into separate audio and video information, passing each to a separate circuit for further processing. The electron gun circuit uses the video part of the signal to recreate the picture filmed by the TV camera. The circuit fires three electrical guns down a cathode ray tube like a fat bottle from which the air has been removed. The electron beams pass through a ring of electromagnetics. Electrons can be steered by magnets because they have a negative electrical charge. The electromagnets steer the electron beams so they sweep back and forth across the screen line by line. The electron beams pass through a grid of holes called a mask which directs them so they hit exact places on the screen. When the beams hit the phosphors on the screen, they make red, blue or green dots. Elsewhere, the screen remains dark. The pattern of red, blue and green dots builds up a colored picture very quickly. Audio information from the incoming signal passes to a separate circuit. The audio circuit drives the loudspeaker so they recreate the sound exactly in time with the moving picture.